cholesterol. The theory behind cholesterol has been brainwashed into people's head since the 1950s because of a man by the name of Ansel Keys that did a study in countries related to the number of people in the country with heart disease and what they ate. Ever since this study, cholesterol was put on the map and we seem to be one step closer to fixing the heart disease problem. But the problem is that he left out two key factors. Number one is the study was not done on six countries, it was done on 22 countries, which he later on admitted to. He also left out the countries that ate low fat and had a high heart disease rate like Norway and Holland. He also left out the country that ate high fats and had low heart disease like Chile. This alone for the average person with common sense should have been sufficient. So a claim was done that cholesterol caused heart disease by a study that later on was proven to be false. But because we are so used to inheriting information as facts and not looking into it, it went viral. Nobody till today is really looking into the actual study. So we've taken cholesterol as a bad thing for us. That's not enough? Well, there's more. There are zero studies that show that people that eat high saturated fats have increased cholesterol or people that have increased cholesterol show any increase in heart disease. So this cholesterol shit has been one of the biggest scams of the century. All right, check this out. So we started off with the theory of the more cholesterol that we ingest into our system, the more cholesterol that enters our bloodstream, the more that we have a risk of arteriosclerosis or the clogging of the arteries. Later on that changed into, it's not the cholesterol that's ingested, it's more the saturated fats that we're ingesting. And it's not the cholesterol that's the issue, it's more the HDL versus LDL. That later on got changed. The LDL is not really the problem, it's actually the small particles in the envelope of the LDL that causes the clogging of the arteries. So the funny part of all this is that the pathogenesis, or in better terms, the origin of where it started as, as a disease and the progression of it has not thoroughly been studied. HDL versus LDL. So we hear that the HDL being the good cholesterol and the LDL being the bad cholesterol, well, surprise, surprise, none of them are actually cholesterol. The HDL stands for high density lipoprotein and the LDL stands for low density lipoprotein. They are envelopes to be more precise and they carry cholesterol to the body. So the, the so-called good cholesterol HDL carries cholesterol to the liver to be recycled. And the question is, if the body's recycling the cholesterol, how are we claiming that it's bad? Our bodies make anywhere from two to 3,000 milligrams per day. Almost every cell produces cholesterol. It's still not sold on the fact that cholesterol is good for us. Most of the brain is made of cholesterol. Cholesterol is needed to create vitamin D. It helps with increasing calcium in the blood. Truth is, if we don't eat enough cholesterol, our bodies are gonna produce the cholesterol, whether we like it or not. The real issue here is not the cholesterol. The real issue is the scarring of the arteries, the spinning of milk to, high, to have a higher shelf life. Do you remember back in the day when we had milkmen come to our house? Within a couple of days, the milk would be bad, right? So nowadays, we homogenize, we pasteurize, we spin the milk so fast, it breaks the molecules and it crystallizes. So when we drink it, it scars our arteries. Also, all this garbage food, sugar, one of our, sugar is one of the main problems that scars arteries. So when you're eating junk food and then you come back and say, well, it's the cholesterol, the natural response of the body, the cholesterol that sticks to heal, the arteries get narrow. Well, I get it. It's the body is just trying to heal. It's not the cholesterol that's bad. It's the scarring of the arteries. So this is the problem with the industry. We are not actually going and looking at the underlying cause of the problem. What we're doing is we're prescribing medicine and we're just dishing it out. That's all it is. We're, we're, we're trying to, the FDA says it at themselves. They don't have a cure for diseases. What they do is they treat symptoms. So if you're treating symptoms, it's no different than you driving your car the engine light comes on and when the engine light comes on you rip the dashboard and you you cut off the wire so now the light's not there no more now that's what medicine is doing so you're putting that back you're putting the dashboard back in and you're driving so your tylenols your aspirins your all these medication that you're taking all it's doing is cutting off the wire the underlying problem is not being fixed now, I don't care what anybody has to say. This is factual. You're going to have people in the medical field thinking, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, what? 200,000 people die from aspirin every year. These are facts. Instead of snipping that wire and putting, putting the dashboard back in, let's find out what the underlying problem is. If it's scarring of the arteries, then let's find out how we can avoid scarring of the arteries. Let's not try to manipulate our bodies to not produce 
Cholesterol, we need cholesterol. Cholesterol is important for our body. So the LDL carries the cholesterol that our body needs naturally from the liver to the tissue. No different than insulin. When insulin response happened, insulin delivers sugar and nutrients to our cells. It's the same idea. The LDL envelope has small particles in there that we claim which sticks to the arteries, which they do, very small particles. But the envelope, the whole LDL envelope has a function. The function is it actually helps our body. We need it. So it's not the particles that come with the package that we're worried about. We got to fix the disease. So the real issue in heart disease is not the cholesterol that we, that we keep talking about. It's, it's not the HDL versus LDL. It's not the small particles that are in the LDL envelope. The underlying problem that causes heart disease is the inflammation due to the artery walls being damaged because of sugar the excessive amount of sugar that we eat. Another issue is the adrenal problems that we have. Again, problems caused by sugar, flour, alcohol, processed food. The adrenal glands secrete cortisol, which is a natural anti-inflammatory. But if we don't have those functioning properly, we don't have anti-inflammatories in our body. Everyone on a low carb, high fat diet gets the majority of their cellular energy from triglycerides or LDL and it brings those triglycerides to the cell, typically in a form of long chain fatty acids. Yes, we do derive our energy from ketones a lot more than a person that is carb centric or that eats a lot of carbs. But a lot of these ketones are feeding the brain because um, they can cross the, the brain barrier a lot faster or a lot easier. The majority of our energy is coming from triglycerides. So the majority of the energy is coming from triglycerides coming in the LDLs. This is important to know because the same envelope of the LDL that contains the triglycerides also contains cholesterol. Oh, bad cholesterol that we claim is bad. So to sum it up, the purpose of lipoproteins is to deliver energy and for repair. So stop blaming the paramedics for coming to help you. Instead, blame our life choices and what we've decided to do with our lives to cause the scarring of the arteries. The paramedics are there to help you no different than the LDL. The LDL is your natural healing paramedic. We can trust our doctors, no disrespect. We can trust everybody in the system. But again, the studies are there. Our bodies are here. Merge them together. Figure out what the truth is and make a decision. If I were to pull somebody over right now, or if I was to talk to somebody on the street and say, what do you think of cholesterol? You think it causes heart disease? Of course it causes heart disease. Well, where'd you get that from? I don't know. I heard it from somebody. Okay. So this is the problem. We don't want to hear from people. We want facts and our ignorance is what is bringing us down. And this happens with everything. So the minute you start questioning, the minute you start, you find yourself starting to, to talk and fight the fact that, oh my God, yeah, cholesterol is bad for us or yeah, it is good for us. Back it up with facts. Anything that comes out of your mouth, make sure that you have some kind of legitimacy behind it so it actually makes sense. Eat your cholesterol. Eat cholesterol. Cholesterol is not bad for you. It's cholesterol is being produced in our body. If you don't eat it, our bodies are going to make it. So eat your cholesterol. Just stop the scarring of the arteries.